Oh no, the computer's on fire. It's okay, it's only a Mac. Hey guys, we're going to look at software, but something in regards to software very specifically called piracy. Software piracy. Now, when you hear the word pirate or piracy, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this, you're thinking pirates, but um, no, it's kind of based on the idea of pirates stealing stuff. Um, but yes, let's let's see what it actually is about, all right? So software piracy is basically the act of illegally using, copying, or distributing software without ownership or legal rights. So if you have not purchased a license or purchased the software or you do not have the right to distribute software and you're sharing it with everyone, that is illegal and that is software piracy. Basically, copying software to multiple computers or sharing it with your friend without multiple licenses is considered software piracy. And of course, that is illegal. Yes, it is. So downloading what? I mean, we download stuff all the time. So what would be considered illegal or make you a pirate if you were downloading stuff? Well, if you were downloading these things, music, uh, movies, software, games, without paying for them. If they are supposed to be paid for and you have not paid for them, uh, that's illegal. So you are a pirate. So let's look at what sort of licensing agreements we have in terms of software with uh, individuals and companies as well. So what kind of licensing do we have? We first have this one called a single user license. A single user license is for one person or one machine. So one man or one vote. Okay, one woman, one vote. One person, one vote. Just I'm trying to just cover everybody here. So one person, one machine. Okay, a single user license. You can't put that on any more machines just one machine then we have a multi-user license I mean that's pretty obvious what that stands for many people and more often than not one a device a so multi-user one device okay it may extend to uh, a few devices per person or, or you know so one person gets that device another person gets that device it, it depends on the licensing agreement that the creator of the software has created okay then we have something called a site license. This always gets asked in exams. That means many devices on site only. Site as in the location that you are at. So your business, your company, your school, um, things like that. So if you have 10 computers and you want to use the software on 10 computers, you need 10 licenses. You'll get a site license that covers you from one to 10 computers only. If you want to use it on more computers, you've got to get another site license or increase the number of seats or the, they call it seats or the number of devices you can use. That is a site license, S-I-T-E, as in the site that you are working at, the location you are in. Looking at another thing called intellectual property, because this is something that can get stolen as well, and you, this is actually pretty scary stuff. What is intellectual property? Well, that's a, it's a concept. It's an abstract concept. It's something that you own if you've come up with the idea first. For example, if you have thought up an idea for a product of some kind or a software application of some kind, you are the owner of that idea if you can up with it if it's completely unique and it's all yours you own it okay so it is something that has been created or content that has been created by you and you are automatically the copyright holder of that material so intellectual property property that belongs to you that you've created we often call it IP and there are all sorts of ways to protect IP uh, it does get a little bit tricky but um, please know that this is something that is very important and you will probably come into contact with this, especially after school, if you're starting up your own business or you're working with other people and you're coming up with ideas. So be aware of IP, intellectual property. So you are a pirate. Arr. <laughs> ah, that was really bad. Okay, might have to edit that out.